Hello everyone. In this tutorial we're going to go ahead and uh, create and set up our first person mode so that we can begin with the XP and leveling system. So let's go ahead and just open a new project, first person with all the sample stuff and name it to whatever you want. I'm going to call it XP and leveling. Give it a couple moments and we shall begin. Alright, here we go. So, if we just hop in game, you'll see that the first person mode that Unreal gives you already is kind of bad, in my opinion. Um, there's stuff that we can definitely change here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first, click on your character and open up the blueprint. You'll see in here, for the spawn projectile area, we're going to remove the touch component since we're not going to be using that. Um, I'm also going to remove that sound effect because I don't like it and it's pretty loud. Um, and we're going to set it for rapid fire. So click on the variable and type in shoot. We're going to set that twice. When you press it down, it's going to check it to true. And when you release it, it's going to check it to false. This is going to be attached to an if statement. And that if statement simply will, is going to say if shoot is equal to true to fire the projectile and all that stuff. Delay at the very end. Um, I set mine to 0 0.2 and drag this into that if statement so it essentially creates a loop over here. <clears throat> the next step is that if you jump in game you can see that the it kind of looks like it's an iron sight and so we're going to shift it over so that it looks more like you would expect a first person shooter uh, to look like. So I just shifted by one and I found that that actually looks pretty good. Now if we fire the gun you'll notice that the bullet is not actually coming from the muzzle of the gun. Uh, it's actually coming out of the character. So we're going to change that hop back in your invent graph. <clears throat> in this area over here, this is where we can set it. Now, the uh, FP gun that comes with it uh, already has a socket built in for the muzzle. So if we do socket location and type in muzzle, you'll see that it now shoots from the gun. Unfortunately, that's not necessarily good enough because of how close that socket is to the gun. So unless we reduce collision on the bullet, um, it's not going to be that great. So go to the first person to meshes, or actually FP weapon, mesh, and then the uh, FP gun. Go to skeleton, and we're just going to drag out the socket a little more. So on muzzle, switch to the movement thing and just drag it out to about here so that when the character is running um, it won't get stuck or caught or anything so that's okay um, next thing I want to do is go to the uh, blueprints tab so uh, first person beep B and go to blueprints and go to first person projectile and in the projectile thing, I just want to get rid, or sorry, get rid of bounce over here and double the speed so that it simulates more like a bullet. And then also uh, disable gravity so that there's no bullet drop over time. So it looks more like this. Now this will stick onto surfaces, so I, I guess it's more like a sticky a sticky ball of something but that's okay um, because when it hits our character or when it hits like uh, enemy characters um, it disables that's not very good okay um, well anyways so what you can do though is go to the collision component and just drop this radius by half of it and so you'll reduce the 
the actual collision so that it's not as big and it's a little bit more accurate. We'll be modifying some of the other things in later in later videos uh, since we're actually going to pass damage to enemy characters that we create. The last thing I want to do is create a little enemy. So uh, inside this blueprints area we're going to right click and click on blueprint, blueprint class and click on character and we're just going to call this uh, enemy character. Now this enemy character, um, we're going to be just uh, adding a cube component, attaching it to the mesh, and this is going to serve as like a temporary body. This is that little cube enemy that I uh, showed in the intro. This is how I made him. So I simply attached a cube over here and filled the from top to bottom of this part here. And then in the mesh area, I put in the uh, the arms, the mannequin arms. And you'll see that the arms are up here. We can rotate it 90 degrees. And then drop this down some. And it looks like our cube moved. So we're going to just bring the cube up again. And there's our little box man that we're going to be using. Uh, everything else doesn't really matter. Um, let's just drop him in the level and see what he looks like. There he is. So there's our little box man. We'll be using. Um, like the, we'll be modifying the collision component, actually giving him health and stuff like this uh, in a later video. That's all for this one. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below, and like and subscribe for the next one. See you then.